Hello guys, myself Shubham Haldar. Today I am gonna explain you this introduction to FGFU design Coursera FGFU design for embedded system by University of Colorado Boulder. This course week one first PR gated assignment. This one. Okay. This one PR gated assignment. I'm gonna explain you. So let's start with the video. And before going that, welcome to all to the VLSI funder channel. Thank you. Okay. So I hope uh, this one is a good one. Okay, um, so first question is given that using only logic gate, design a true bit full adder cat. Uh, as we know, the full adder, uh, some formula K X or B X or C carry, and as we know, carries formula also A and B or carry and A X or B. Okay. So this is gonna be simple. Just I uh, we need to design one first one full adder. Then this full adder first full adder carry we need to fit to for carry input of second full adder carry. That's gonna be give us the output. Correct. So this is a simple. This is a first full adder circuit and this is a second full adder circuit. This is a simple. And here is a see in second question they told us uh, they actually give us the equation a and b bar or c and d bar this equation and given us a PLA design circuit and uh, told us to design this circuit so we just need to do this a means we need to short uh, here and b bar means here okay and this is gonna be and uh, means or here so for second part we need to short c this c this is the c line this here and this d bar here okay just simple and this is gonna be our output and second problem there give us this lut truth table and told us to find the equation um, content of the LUT. Uh, this is just nothing to do with that. We just need to put these values in this equation and take the output and write down our comment on this. Okay. So as you can uh, see, if we put uh, here, as you can see, this diagram. If you can put a, z, um, a means uh, this equation, a or b bar, 0, 0, this is gonna be 0 total because a is 0, and this is gonna be also 0 because c is 0. So, total output coming 0. This way, we can do that for others' values. And after that, what I write this uh, they told us to comment down so I comment down that if all the AB's values are 0 0 0 means other than this A is 1 and B is 0 others values of A and B we are what we are getting 0 except where C and D bar uh, C is 1 and D bar is 0 where they are getting one here one here one here one and for a is equal to one and z b is equal to zero for this group we are getting all one okay that's we can define and this will is is out our equation so that's for today in next video i will be cover this assignment this quiz part solution okay uh, so stay tuned for that and thank you learn VLSI.